You know what's better than using ChatGPT? Using a model that uses the same AI as ChatGPT but train on your own data. And this is what you're going to learn to do in this video. So to train a model on your own data, what we need to do is use fine tuning. What is fine tuning you ask? Well, let's ask ChatGPT. Okay, so let's see what it has to say. Okay, so basically fine tuning is all about training a model to do a very specific task. But now that we know this, what kind of specific task we can use it for? Fine tuning is best suited to generate content with a specific pattern with a consistent input and a consistent output. However, if you, what you want to do is retrieve information from a large dataset, maybe to do a Q&A chatbot, then it might not be the best solution. What I would recommend for this instead is use vector embedding and I can make a video about this too. If you want, let me know in the comments. But for now, let's focus on fine tuning. We need to start with preparing our data set. The use case for this video is generating a job post newsletter. So based on the job post information in the prompt, the model should output a short witty summary of what the job is about in a specific style and start with an emoji. For this uh, tutorial, data is in French, but you can use any language, the principles remain the same. What you need to do is create a prompt and a completion pair so that the model understands the output it needs to produce from a consistent input pattern. If you're wondering how many prompt completion pairs you need, well, OpenAI recommends at least 200 examples. For this data set, I have around 260. Uh, one very important thing that you need to make sure of is that your prompt and your completions end with a specific suffix. In my case, uh, my prompt ends with, with a new line and my completion ends with a dash and a chevron. Uh, the second step is to turn our dataset into a JSONL file. To do this, uh, you just need to open your terminal and run the following command you see on screen right now. So it's OpenAI tools, fine tunes, prepare data, dash F, and then you enter your file name. Uh, I have to do some certain steps here that you will probably not need to do. So I had to export my OpenAI um, API key and here the shell cannot find the OpenAI command. So I'm running an export path command to make sure that the shell knows where to find necessary files. Great. So now the data is being processed by the tool and it's giving recommendations to clean the data set. In my case, I uh, remove the duplicates. All you need to do is enter Y and voila, your data will be prepped and ready. Let's get to step three. Here we're going to upload our file into our OpenAI account. Using the OpenAI file create method, we just need to copy paste the name of the file we've just created and set the purpose parameter as fine tune. For those like me who have their account associated with multiple organization, you will also need to add the organization parameter to ensure that the API requests count towards the right organization. If your account is not associated with multiple organization, you can skip this. Just add your API key and the name of your file and we'll print the response just to make sure that the file is uploaded. So as you can see here, uh, it worked and now we can use our file for fine tuning. On to step four, this is where we finally fine tune our model using the dataset we just uploaded with the OpenAI fine tune create method. Different parameters are available uh, and you'll find more information about them in the OpenAI documentation, but the most important parameter is the model. Four different models are available for different purposes and speeds. My personal favorite is the most advanced, DaVinci, but it's also the priciest. You could also go for a cheaper model like Ada, which is also the fastest one, or Curie. It all depends on your needs and the complexity of the task you're looking to achieve with fine tuning. Now let's go back to the terminal and run the script. That's it. Our function job has been created. Now we just have to wait until it's complete. 
When it's done, uh, your fine tune model will be available in the model drop down. Remember to use the same prompt pattern you had in the data set, and you can experiment with different parameters such as the temperature, the length, the top B, and much more to uh, consistently have the desired output. Also, one thing you should make sure of is having the same stop sequence you used in the dataset because if you don't have a stop sequence then you can have stuff like this in your output which you definitely don't want so remember to add your stop sequence. Here we go, so now that we've confirmed that the output is what we want, we can go ahead and actually use our models. Uh, there's two main ways you can use your model, either by using code, just click on the view code window, choose the language you'd like to use and then copy paste the code sample. Or you can also use no code tools such as Zapier or Make to um, use your fine tune model. If you'd like a video about this, drop a comment below and I will make sure I show you how to do it in my next video. Last but not least, how much does this cost? Well, uh, for this fine tune job with 256 examples, I paid exactly $16.87, which is pretty affordable if you ask me. All right. So now you know how to train AI on your own data with fine tuning. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to hit that like button and let me know what you're going to use this for. And also I've got a lot of other AI automation videos coming up. So make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss them.